This video shows you how to install Ring Video Doorbell 3 or 3 Plus if you want to wire it to your existing doorbell system. To be compatible, your doorbell transformer must supply 8 to 24 volts AC at 50 or 60 Hz with a maximum power rating of 40 volt amps. If your transformer doesn't meet these specs, you can install a Ring Hardwired Transformer Kit or install your video doorbell wirelessly. When you install this way, your internal doorbell will ring when someone pushes the button on the front of your video doorbell. First, fully charge the included battery by plugging it into a USB port or power supply with the included cable. We recommend fully charging the battery before installation, even if you're wiring in your video doorbell. You'll know the battery is fully charged when only one of the LED lights is lit. Slide the battery into its compartment. You'll hear a click when the battery is secure. Now let's set up your doorbell. Open the Ring app and start the setup process. Then just follow the instructions in the app. Once setup is complete, it's time to install your video doorbell. The optimal installation height for video doorbell is four feet off the ground. If you're connecting video doorbell to existing wires that are higher than four feet, install the included wedge mount to angle it down for a better view. Before you begin, shut off power at the breaker. Then remove your existing doorbell button from the wall and disconnect the wires. Insert the included mini level into this slot on your video doorbell. Use your video doorbell as a template to mark the install location. Center the bubble on the mini level to ensure it's straight. If you're installing video doorbell on stucco, brick, or concrete, use the provided drill bit to drill holes into your wall and insert the included anchors into the holes. If you're installing on wood or siding, you can skip this step. Then, loosen the terminal screws on the back of your video doorbell. If your doorbell wires are too short to wire to your video doorbell, you can use the included wire extensions and wire nuts to extend them. To do this, line each wire extension up with a doorbell wire and twist the wire nut onto them clockwise until they're securely connected. Now, you can secure the doorbell wires under the terminal screws. Give them a little tug to make sure they're firmly attached. It doesn't matter which is which, as long as one wire goes to each screw and the wires aren't touching. Then feed all the wires back into your wall. Secure your video doorbell using the provided screws. Next, remove the mini level and pop on your faceplate. Start at the top and click it into place. Switch the included screwdriver bit to the star-shaped end, then use it to secure your video doorbell with one of the included security screws. Turn power on at the breaker, and you're done. Need a little more help? Head to ring.com help.